You may believe it or not, but the real people who lived this story, they believe it. They know. They took that one step beyond. This is one of the storerooms of a salvage company in Connecticut. It may seem a most unlikely place to begin the incredible saga of German U-boat 147, but there's a reason for my being here. A fantastic reason, which I'll explain later. Actually, the story began some years ago, and a long way from Connecticut. It was early spring, 1945, and Hitler's Third Reich was dying. 147 was one of the last U-boats to survive. Now it waited off the coast of northern Germany to begin its final voyage. Der Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler. Be careful with those briefcases. An honor to have you aboard, sir. I shouldn't be on board. I should be with the Führer, fighting until the end. Put them in my cabin. May I show you to your quarters? The captain is generous. My orders from the Admiralty are quite specific. So long as you are aboard this boat, you are in command, Herr Bartman. My orders are not so specific. We must somehow, somehow keep this dream alive. The captain, enemy air close. Underwater in 30 seconds. Oh, my God! What is it? Someone is trapped on top! Surface at once! Service at once, Captain! What are you doing? I'm going up after him. You can't. The plane will kill us all. One of my men is drowning up there. You cannot surface. I will not allow it. That is an order. Resume driving position to 40 meters. 40 meters, Captain! This is the captain. Check all personnel and report. Oh, uh, I have never been on a U-boat. Is smoking permitted? No, I have oven. No? No, there is battery gas aboard. It might explode. What a ball. What a beautiful cigarette case. Yes, it is, isn't it? The inscription on the inside might interest you. The Führer. It was given to me at Nuremberg in 1938. A million voices singing the Horst Wessel song. The torches turning their faces red. Those were days, my boy. Engine room reporting, Captain. All hands at station. Aft torpedo room. All hands at station. Wait your room at station. Forward torpedo room. All hands at station, Captain. That leaves only the control room. Captain, you must understand that the life of every German is as dear to me as it is to you. But on this voyage, my dear Captain, you're carrying something more precious than life. And that is? You are carrying the last hope of the Third Reich. All that is left of Germany are a few U-boats, such as this one, moving under the sea with a half a dozen leaders like myself. This is not vanity. This is a historical fact. All hands 
at stations in control room. Are you certain? Certain, Captain. No one missing. How can that be? Could it have been the bullets from the plane? And possibly some sea lead caught on the cables and we crash dived, Captain. I suppose it's possible. Well, then we're upset about nothing. All is well. That is a good omen. I feel rather tired. Will somebody take me to my cabin, please? Fido. Yes, Captain. Show her Bartman to my quarters. Yes, Captain. Check the engine room, the aft torpedo room, and the forward torpedo room. Everything is working perfectly. What kind of stupidity is this? There must be some way of finding out where this is coming from. We've checked everything inside the hull. Every piece of machinery is working perfectly. Then why is there this pounding? When we surface to recharge batteries, we'll check the superstructure. Maybe it's up there. And when will that be? When it's possible. Oh, it's bad enough to be sealed up in this coffin, choking on the smell of oil and men. But to endure this idiotic... No, no, no! It's coming from here, yes, but there is nothing wrong. It's tight as a drum. Captain. I want to ask you a question. Well? Is it possible that one of the men in your crew is doing this deliberately? Deliberately? Why should anyone... Oh, come now. Don't be that simple-minded. I don't understand. To shatter my nerves, of course. To make it impossible for me to carry out my mission. That's ridiculous. I do not think so. Even if anyone wanted to, how could they? What do I know about you boots? I would make a very satisfactory victim for a trick. Is there no way to stop this pounding? Will this pounding ever cease? Captain Medical Officer. Yes. What for? What for? A sedative, perhaps, Sir Bartman. I do not need a sedative. I want the records of every man sent to my cabin. All the records are kept in the Admiralty in Berlin. Oh, that's most unfortunate. It might have been interesting to look into the captain's records also. and find out what it is. We can't. It would be too dangerous. Surface at once! Surface at once! Surface at once, Captain! Everything still all right? No signs of anything so far, Captain. Keep a sharp watch. Yes, Captain. Nothing. Radio message, Captain. Thank you. Where was this picked up? Shortwave, from London. Herr Bartmann, we haven't found the trouble yet, but I assure you... Yes, 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 yes. We will stay up here until we do find it. 
I didn't know that fresh air could taste so sweet. For me? It is a lie. I doubted her, Bartman. Who gave you this? The radio man, of course. It is another deliberate attempt to harass me. Herr Bartman, I assure you... Who is this radio man? What is his background? Lieutenant Friedel is in charge of personnel. I, I found him reliable. Admiral Dönitz announced today that Adolf Hitler died during the night of April 30th. A Reuters dispatch reports that Hitler killed himself. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a filthy lie! The Führer would never do anything like that! No, sir! I do not believe in the reliability of your radio man! But, Herr Bartman, I was... Why do you insist on defending him? I'm not defending him! It's a lie! It's a lie! A filthy lie! lie. Why are we fighting among ourselves? We are all that is left. Captain, I wish to speak to the men. Attention! This is the captain. Attention! This is Bautmann. I bring you terrible news, my comrades. The Führer is dead. He died like a hero leading his troops into battle. We are Germany now. We must be worthy of the Führer's courage. Captain. Attention! This is the Captain. Everybody to dive stations! What are you doing? A boat is approaching from the south. We haven't found out about the pounding! We haven't found out about the pounding! Ships are 10 miles away! Oh no! 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 Propeller noises are strong enough. One, two, five revolutions. Sounds like a destroyer. How close? Between 3,000 and 4,000 meters. Lieutenant Schneider? This is the captain. What is our depth? 90 meters. An enemy destroyer is approaching. We will be under depth charge attack in approximately four minutes. You are to begin procedures for silent routine. Yes, Captain. This is Lieutenant Schneider. All electrical equipment except battery for lights will be shut off. Further information. 2,500 meters. Still closing. Propeller, one, two, five revolutions. If that is the only sound you make, we will be all right, Captain. How close? 2,200 meters. Closing. No, wait. Going over to new course. Approximately 2.28. He may be losing us. He's bearing away. Well? Well? 4,000 meters. Still moving away. 
Now on course, 206. He's all over the ocean. He's lost us. Where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm suffocating. I'm suffocating. I'm suffocating. I'm suffocating. I'm so I can't breathe. Shut up. I must have air. The destroyer will pick up the pounding and come back. Uh, indeed it will, Lieutenant. Uh, what is it? Where can it be? Air! 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 Oh, no, 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 no. He struck me! He's doing the pounding. Arrest him! Arrest! Arrest him! He's doing it! Can't you see? Tell him where I am! Tell him to stop the pounding! Tell him to stop the pounding! Oh, oh, listen. I'm Boatman. Remember? The Führer, he embraced me. He said to me, he said, oh, ah, oh, Nuremberg. Ah, many voices, 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 screaming. Ah, his faces, blood. Red. I gave him pen to serve. His faces. Make him unconscious in a minute. Red. Voices. <laughs> This is the captain. This is the captain. Rig for deep charges. Are we going to try to run for it, Captain? Run? Where can we run? We're setting docks. It stopped. He's unconscious now. Will somebody give me a hand? Dear God, only when he's conscious. What? We hear the pounding only when he's awake. When he's asleep, it's gone. It's gone now. Don't you see? Somehow it comes from him. That could not be. It follows him from place to place. No. No, it's not possible. It's, it's not possible. All stations. This is the captain. Restore power and prepare to surface. Turn to forward tank. Left rudder. We are going to surrender. Surrender? The war is over. Do you want to die down here with her, Bartman? What? What could it have been? Wonder about it for the rest of your days. Just as I shall. Who knows? It might be good for our souls. Our hands! This is the captain! We are going to surrender. Through the courtesy of the Hornsby Salvage Company in Connecticut, I offer this wrench as one of the strangest mementos of World War II. In 1946, the Hornsby people bought U-Boat 147 for scrap. When the outside hull of the ship was cut away, this wrench was found in the hands of a skeleton. During the frenzied war effort, of the German U-boat yards, sometimes a workman died unnoticed inside the tank spaces which then became his unmarked tomb. Now that explains the skeleton, but it doesn't explain the pounding. However, I have a theory. It's my own, of course. What about the man 
who held this wrench. What was he? Was he a slave laborer from the Balkans of France, Poland? Or was he a German whose hatred of the Nazis did not end with his death? What was he?